You know the first thing I'd do if I was building an underwater utopia, Chan? What's that, brother? Build it above water instead. I don't like seafood. I'm sure somewhere in the planning stages of Rapture they tackled the issue of dietary variety. Yeah, how? Do you suppose they domed in 400 acres of grazing land under artificial sunlight to accommodate their massive herds of cattle? And what about methane buildup? Is that how they maintain secrecy by hoping sailing vessels would simply avoid the enormous patch of ocean that mysteriously smells like hell's barnyard? I'd imagine they'd simply smuggle in whatever preserved goods weren't readily available, canned meat products and the like. Right, that sounds like an excellent pitch to bring in the world's most exceptional, wealthiest citizens. Come join us in our utopian underwater society, unchained from the burden of government, where each man is truly his own individual, free to pursue his own ends, hobnob with his intellectual peers, and end each day by eating a big can of beefaroni in his underwear. It's no wonder the people of Rapture turn to hard drugs. If they're truly the world's wealthiest citizens, maybe they'd be able to ship in frozen meat. Right, like that kind of operation wouldn't draw unwanted attention. No, I'll tell you what would happen. They'd probably start off with a balanced diet of both outsourced and local goods, but then not wanting to deal so much with the hassle of smuggler management, they gradually start replacing outside ingredients with underwater quote-unquote equivalents. So you believe a seafood diet would be inevitable? Yes, but here's the thing. They wouldn't call it a seafood diet. They'd be replacing recipes ingredient by ingredient, so in their poor delusional minds, they're still cooking linguine, except the noodles are compressed seaweed, with a cream seaweed sauce. Like when a vegetarian friend tells you they're cooking hamburgers, only it turns out to be made of soybeans and wood shavings. Right, and with the passage of time separated from any of the original ingredients, their minds won't even register the difference anymore. They'll make chicken salad out of flounder and diced sea cucumbers, and french fries that are really just whole sea slugs deep fried in whale oil. And that's why your societal rebellion comes from not the first group of immigrants, but the ones who come in after the new dietary order is established. Old Johnny Elite steps off the bathysphere, ready to start a new life feeling superior to the chumps on the surface world, heads into the restaurant, orders a ribeye, and out comes the maitre d' with a slab of manatee blubber served with a side of dolphin testicles, which they take into calling baked potatoes. I can see that ending badly. That's probably how Rapture really collapsed. The whole splicer thing was probably just incidental. It was all about people being forced into high fish diets against their wills. A quick route to anarchy. Maybe that's why the splicer look like they do. I mean, the player character pretty much lives on a diet of plasmids, atom, or whatever junk food he can scrounge out of the garbage for the entire game, and his appearance never changes. Maybe the Spicer's faces just developed into permanent rictuses of horror from having to force down three pounds of braised hagfish every day. Just a constant, eh, and it stayed that way. Every mother's chilling prophecy made manifest. <laughs>